Good evening. A self-confessed racist who killed a grandfather and planned attacks on moths in the West Midlands has been jailed for life and will spend at least 40 years in prison. Pavlo Lapshin was convicted on Monday of stabbing Mohammed Salim in the back as he made his way home from evening prayer at a mosque in Birmingham. Lapshin also planted bombs near mosques in Walsall, Wolverhampton and Tipton. Stacey Foster reports. This is what one of Pavlo Lapshin's bombs was capable of. Here he is filming himself testing out his explosives in his native Ukraine. The judge at the Old Bailey said it was clear Lapshin had been making bombs long before he arrived in Birmingham in April and that he planned to make more and wanted to hurt Muslims. Lapshin detonated three of his homemade bombs outside mosques in Walsall, Wolverhampton and Tipton in June and July with the aim of igniting racial conflict. After being arrested in July, he was questioned about the murder of 82-year-old grandfather Mohammed Salim outside a mosque in Small Heath. Police have now released this footage of his chilling That's confession. It was on the 29th uh, April. of April. I was around the mosque. Uh, I did not know that person. Убийство было совершено по мотивам расовой ненависти. A murder was committed on the basis of um, racial hatred. Нанес три удара ножом. I um, uh, using a knife. I um, stabbed him three times. The judge praised the work of West Midlands Police, who managed to trace Lapshin down by trawling hours of CCTV footage. Very pleased. I, I hope that some, uh, again, some, some further solace to the family uh, as they have to come to terms with uh, the horrible murder of their of, of their of their dad. Um, I'm also pleased, from a from a wider perspective, around the other really serious crime that this individual was involved in. He was an extremely dangerous individual, as we've heard. He was well skilled. Lapshin will be 65 before he's even considered for release. But for the family of the man he murdered. That's not long enough. Stacey Foster, ITV News. Well, the children of Mohammed Salim have revealed for the first time they faced a second trauma after he was stabbed to death. They say they received racist abuse from extremists who told them their father should have been beheaded. For one of Mr. Salim's seven children, it was an especially tough time. She was ready to give birth when she was told of the horrific attack. Our correspondent Keith Wilkinson has been to meet her. Fawzia Salim was eight months pregnant when she got the news that her father had been murdered on his way home from prayers at his local mosque in Birmingham. A father of seven children, Mohammed Salim was never able to see his 25th grandchild, Sophia, now four months old. Absolutely devastating and absolutely shocking. Still can't to this day believe what has actually um, happened to my father. Everyone tells you keep calm and don't worry, don't get stressed. Uh, you know, you, you've got to look after the baby. But at the end of the day, you know, my father's just been murdered to death in the street. How are you supposed to react to that? You know, you, you bottle up your emotions, uh, obviously because, uh, you know, don't want to um, impact the baby as well. And it was a very, very, very difficult testing time and it still is. My dad was really excited, you know, that I was pregnant and I was having another granddaughter. Um, so he's, he was looking forward to uh, the birth of Sophia. But unfortunately, he's missed that now and she's missed that as well. So, you know, she's never going to meet her granddad. Her trauma was hard enough to bear, but then came more pain with racist abuse about her dead father posted on social network sites. Since my father's death, via social media and from um, people with uh, right-wing views and you know basic racist views saying my father deserved to die and maybe he should have been beheaded on the street as well. We reported this to the police. I sat and gave a four-hour statement. I still haven't had an update as to what's going to be done to these individuals, whether they've actually been um, approached about their comments. West Midlands police say they did fully investigate the abuse, but the culprits were not traced. 
Mr. Salim's family are pleased that the murder case was eventually solved by the police, but they say they've made complaints about the progress of the inquiry in the early stages. We did state we do believe it's a racist attack, and I don't think we were taken seriously at the beginning. And it turns out that actually it was a, a very hardcore racist attack as well, someone with very extreme views. West Midlands police say a complaint was made by the family, but has now been dropped. They say officers were brought in from all over the country to successfully solve the case, which was given top priority. The killer, Pavlo Lapshin, a student on work placement from Ukraine, set off bombs at three West Midlands mosques. He told police he stabbed to death Mr. Salim and planted the bombs to cause racial conflict because he was a racist. West Midlands police say Lapshin, seen here carrying a bomb in Walsall, was acting alone and not linked to any racist groups. He was self-radicalised. It was hatred for Muslims that he had and you know for him to have such hatred yet from his hometown back in the Ukraine he wasn't exposed to Muslims you know it hasn't got a huge Muslim population so you know where did he get these opinions and these views from how could he have self-radicalised um, based on not having any interaction with Muslims as such. My mum and dad were married for over 50 years, you know, my mum lost her life partner. I mean, how do you comprehend that? How do you start to deal with that? You know, you look outside the window from the home that they lived in for over 40 years and it's not a reminder of the life they've lived, it's a reminder of that that's where he died, that's where he was brutally killed and, you know, she, my mum has to walk past that spot every single day. That's the daughter of Mohammed Salim speaking to Keith Wilkinson. In other news, three men have been arrested.